bring in these awesome uh, <laughs> and as always guys peace <laughs> and as always guys be sure to like and subscribe it helps me keep bringing <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, it's me, Eric B, and welcome back. Hey, I got this. Hey y'all, <clears throat> sorry, let's make it all official like he does. What's up guys, it's me, Haley B, and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be doing a first ride on this 2017 Polaris Slingshot, coming up. Go. Ready to do this? Ready. Noise. So this thing has a uh, nice push button start. Just turn on right there. Yeah. Alright. So this thing does come equipped with seat belts, just like a car. Okay, so this is the SLR model. So this is supposed to be the top of the line model uh, back in 2017. I think now for the 2020, they have an R model, which has an auto drive. This is a manual five speed. And the difference between the SLR and the base model is this comes with the Sparco steering wheel, the shifter and the foot pedals, and it also has a wider rear tire. Um, so let's do it. So shit, this all works just like a normal car. Has a backup camera, so that's pretty cool. And man, finally got a beautiful day to do this. Cause all my other reviews, I always get a cloudy day, I hate it. Man, I haven't driven a manual car in a while. All right, so they classify this thing as an auto cycle. It's not really a motorcycle. I don't know if all states have uh, swapped over to that, but you do have to have a motorcycle license to drive these and wear a motorcycle helmet. But since they've changed the rules a little bit, I think they have it to the point now where you don't even need a motorcycle license to, uh, to drive one of these. Let's see how the power is. I could definitely get used to one of these. At least the wind's not so bad in your face. All right, so the overall styling of this uh, slingshot is actually pretty unique. I mean, I think it looks awesome. It looks like something exotic. It is a head turner. Um, you know, you drive down the road and people look like, what is that? I think a lot of people still don't know what it is. It's a weird three wheel looking car thing or another. So I want to show you guys real quick as far as the storage goes on this puppy. <laughs> this thing has uh, little storage compartments on both sides so you can fit you know some sort of bag or anything like that in there so just don't think that you don't have anywhere to put anything but just know that that is there so that's pretty cool. Alright so as far as power goes this thing is pushing out a 2.4 liter GM Ecotech motor. So this motor used to be in a Pontiac Solstice and uh, the Chevy Cobalt, believe it or not. It's pushing out 173 horsepower and 166 foot-pounds of torque. So with a vehicle like this that weighs a little over 1,700 pounds, you got power for days. I've heard of guys putting uh, bigger motors in here trying to make it, you know, really fast. The only problem with that is you have one tire for putting the power down to the ground. So when you get more power, you're not going to be able to successfully get all that power from uh, your upgrades. I think that's why the stock power that's in this is plenty for this vehicle. All right, so styling looks good. This thing's got ample power and handles well. As far as the ergos go, 
I think it's pretty comfortable. Uh, I'm a tall guy, 6'2". Um, I fit in here uh, pretty good. I don't think that the seat is, yet you can adjust the seat um, forward and back. But just like any old little sports car, I think it feels pretty good. So I wonder how uh, this thing does in a drive through Let's try it out. What better place to try it than at Dunkin' Donuts? You mean to tell me you're cheating on your first love? Hey, look now. Starbucks is my is my jam. <laughs> I mean, haven't you heard? America runs on Dunkin'. <laughs> Yeah, can I get a uh, large uh, French vanilla iced coffee with cream and sugar, please? That's it. The cool thing about this car is it has cup holders. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna get the uh, peanut butter one. Thank you. All right, you guys have a good day. Oh, look at that catch. <laughs> Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Want me to buy some more? <laughs> All right, what do you like about the slingshot so far? Well, I like the way it looks, and it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. That's it? <laughs> now, you're probably wondering how the wind is in your face and everything. Um, not too bad just because we have this windscreen here. You do get some wind coming in a little bit, but it's not its not overly bad. I don't know if there's any kind of like aftermarket exhaust or anything like that. I'm sure you can get it, but uh, just stock. This thing sounds pretty good. As far as the brakes on this, they're okay. They don't stop you on a dime, but they, they're pretty decent. All right, so this thing is set up just like a car would be with all your uh, controls, you know, blinker, brights, uh, has traction control, um, stuff like that. So this doesn't have any kind of power modes or anything like that that I know of. If I am missing that, please let me know down in the comments. And um, yeah, guys, this is just a fun little, uh, fun little machine. Now, I will say on this side, as far as uh, blind spots go, when you're trying to look on the passenger side, it is a little hard with uh, all that in the rear, trying to look over. The mirrors aren't too bad, and then definitely on the driver's side, you can see everything all day long, so just be aware of that. I wanna go out and buy one of these now. Can we get one? Got slingshot money? Yeah. <laughs> I think you could commute around uh, a little small city with this. I think this would also be good for like a little beach town or something like that too. All right, let's see how this thing handles on this turn here. Traction control is off. This thing handles great. It's like being back in a little car again, like my little Subaru BRZ. Hey, what do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> if you had to go back and forth to work, do you think this is uh, something to commute in? Probably just depends on how far away your work is. Yeah, I think this is uh, something good, you know, to have on the weekends, go have fun with. And then uh, you could commute back and forth to work with this. I've seen people do it. 
you know you could run errands and stuff like that it is like sitting in a little sports car like a little miata or something um the seats in here are comfy not too bad and the suspension is kind of tight so it has really good handling believe it or not this thing handles like it's on rails if we're being honest motorcycles in general pretty much scare me but this is definitely something um that i enjoy um as always eric wants to say thanks to the guys that put my cycle for allowing us to do this first ride and especially for allowing me to tag along also please be sure to like and subscribe i really appreciate it it allows me to continue to keep doing videos just like these and as always we'll see you in the next one peace